Hi everyone, welcome to the next um, kitchen items video. Um, I just realised that on the last one I didn't actually do any shadows behind to make um, it look three dimensional like I had done on the others. But I haven't done it so I'm not going to fiddle with it now because each of these is really a standalone video. I don't want to go back and fiddle but if you do, you know, you would just just do a grey line around it. But I haven't done it so it's it's not done. This one, I feel that this looks like one of those bottles of um, Spanish red wine. So I think that's where we're going to start. Um, I'm trying to think of a what sort of red wine colour really. I don't drink wine. Um, is the cherry or the spice red nearest? I don't know. It's maybe a mixture of both. I'm going to grab this spice red and put it in. It's not, it's, um, is it called sangria? I think. Hmm. I'm just thinking that I need to do the cork first and then colour the wine over it. So I'm stopping, sorry. And I'm going to grab the yellow ochre to start with for the um, for the cork. I've got to find it. There it is. We're using a bit of a different colour this time. I'm going to put a bit of yellow all over. But my thought is that it would be um, a bit... It would be darker in this bit. This bit's going to be slightly blurred by the glass. And then this bit will have the colour of the wine on top of it. So I'm going to leave that and that. But this one I'm just going to make a little bit darker. I'm just going to make it... I might do a little bit like that. But I want it to look a bit darker on the top there. Okay, let's get back to our, I'll just reorganise my desk, our spice red and see how it looks. So I'm just going to do a layer of it and it's going to go over the cork because it would be in front of the cork. I really don't know what colour it would be, but I'm sort of hoping this is sort of right. I'm going to put this colour down like that. And then I'm going to grab the cherry. Is it just called cherry? Yeah. I'm trying to find it. Vermilion, Cadmium, Venetian. There it is. Cherry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> cherry. And go over it with cherry as well. And I think that might make us the right colour. But I really don't know what colour it should be. You can, uh, if you know, then you can make it a bit accurate. But I just don't. Now this bit is like a woven sort of reedy bit. Um, so I'm thinking it's going to be sort of brownish. But I'm going to start with a green gold to keep it nice and warm. Oops. Um, there we go. It's not really green, this colour. So I'm just going to go across all of it with the layer of this, just to start with. And then we'll add in some darker brownish colours to give us some shadows and shading. So there's that. You could have used this colour, it would have worked well, but I didn't want to use the same colour. So I'm going to now grab quite a dark colour. This is the Van Dyke Brown, and we'll see how we get on. Now, each of these is a, a twist of um, rope, I think. So it's going to be darker top and bottom than in the middle. And if we do this on each one and just make it a little darker at the top and then a little darker at the bottom, we'll hopefully be able to eventually, once it's all done, and oh, a bit of shadow there, give the impression that it's sort of a bit shiny. Not, oh, I don't really want it to look shiny. I mean sort of rounded, sorry, I don't mean shiny. My brain's gone. Maybe this will have to be my last one for today. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. There we go. I'm just going to do the same throughout. And while I'm doing this, I'm looking up 
the other item. I'm thinking, is that a jar of olives to keep up the sort of Spanish theme? But we can't see anything in the jar. And I'm looking at the picture on it. It's got this sort of square thing with four. I don't know whether that's supposed to be depicting what's in it. I don't think so, to be honest. So, uh, anyway. So, I'm not sure what to do. Maybe we could just do that in a colour rather than thinking of it as glass. Like it's a sort of ceramic a little bit easier and a bit different. I'm really, I just realised that I've done something really silly. This is a glass jar so you will want to put some white on it to show the reflection and shine. I've used a colour that um, that bleeds into white I think. <sighs> I haven't labelled up my um, this new set of um, pens yet. I'm going to test it. So here's my swatch chart. It's the cherry that I'm worried about. I'm going to put a white dot here. I also use the spice red and I'm going to just see if they go neon pink. I think it might be the purples that actually do it. No, they've stayed white which is good. Mm, that's good news. Okay, so I will be able to wipe that without a worry. Yeah, I always put a little dot of white onto my swatch chart and then I know what's going on. Now, I can see that's beginning to take shape now, but I'm just going to go for a slightly darker colour. What can we go for? We'll have to go for black. Um, the black to do a little bit of shadow in between each layer here. just help to give the shape I can hear a bird sing it sounds like a budgie very strange it certainly isn't there's no one with budgies around here Go. Let's do the grey on here as well and then we would have done that. Um, I think I'll go for the cool grey. Oops. It is oh <laughs> it doesn't want to behave. And what I'm gonna do is just take oh that's a bit dark. Maybe I shouldn't have pressed that hard. Make a white bit. I'm gonna have to do that as hard because it needs to match. There we go. There's our. Now we'll put some um, white pen on there at the end, or else I'm going to smudge it when I'm doing this. Um, uh, hmm. I was thinking I could just do it look like it looks like a jar of red olives, but I don't want to do it this sort of colour, so I need to think of something a bit different. Um, Um, I could. I don't want to do a sort of apricot or peachy type colour. I don't want to do more blues. So, an orange, bright orange, or a scarlet red. Maybe we do it like um, alizarin and crimson, make it look like jam again. Mm, or even a magenta. Might mm, it's a bit close to the other colour. Let's do the yeah. Let's. What's coming up? I know. Let's do this. We haven't used this colour yet. Let's use the Venetian red, and uh, it's quite a sort of light pinkish red. I think it could look like strawberry jam if you wanted it to. And we'll use this. It's quite. It's a nice sort of pale red, but it's not orangey, it's more pinky, so I think it will just match in well. 
and you might have a completely different idea as to what this is. So I think these with their design look like they're almost a Mexican-y style pattern. Maybe not. It's a long time since I went to Mexico. It's fun, that's for sure. Right, um, let's do um, a sort of darker lid. So let's go for our vermilion for the lid. Now I'm going to try and make it a little darker here and lighter in the middle, rather in the middle, to make it a bit more shiny. And we'll do the this on the label too. And I want an even sort of darker red. We don't really have anything. Um, what should we use for that ribbon then? Mm, I could use a blue. No, let's use some green. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking this castle green deep is quite, it's probably a good shade actually. I'm leaving a little bit of white shine like that and then we'll colour that in this colour and that. I've got no idea what it's supposed to be. And we'll use the Castle Green light to uh I can find it, there it is, to uh, do the um this this papery bit. light, very light colour. Okay, now we're going to do this. I'm going to grab my Castle Green Deep again and do some of this. Um, I'm thinking maybe right down here at the bottom. I'm going to do them both the same. They could almost be the same piece, sort of doubled round. A million for some of these triangles. I feel this needs to be really brightly coloured. And I'll do the same on the next one. And then I want to do a sort of blue and a yellow, I think. We don't have a blue though that we're using. And I oh, we don't really have What's that? We have the green gold. I think I want a brighter yellow. I'm going to grab the... Mm, let's go for the golden yellow deep. That's a really... I can't find it. There it is. No, that's the cadmium yellow deep. Will that do? No. Cadmium yellow. There it is, golden yellow deep. That's the colour I'm looking for. Oops, wants to run away. Golden yellow deep. Let's give it a quick sharpen. I'm thinking maybe these main bits. Look how bright that is. Then we need blue, um, maybe the um, primary blue. Yes, whoops, Doesn't want to come out. I find it quite a useful mid range colour. And then we'll have to do the shelf. I think we can, I think I'm going to be boring and do browns again because we've got some browns. But I think it will be good because we don't want it to stand out. We want these some um, brightly coloured things to stand out. So I think it'll work. Uh, let's grab the Van Dyke brown.
and then we just need something to do a bit of shadow. I'm going to actually use the black. I've got a, uh, the ivory black here. Just going to put a little bit around the edge of here. Hmm. I think he may be a tad here. And then I'm going to use my white. I'm going to use my Jody Roll 10. Now remember we want to try and follow the um, shape of the glass. Oops. Like that. And this also we're trying to make look like it might be a jam jar. So we want some white on it as well. I think I'm going to leave it there. So there we go. Let's, uh, yeah, let's stop there. So thank you very much for watching. Um, have a lovely day and happy colouring. <laughs>